no sign of life, at crash site of helicopter carrying Iran's president, others. Here's a summary of the article. Dubai, United Arab Emirates, Iranian President Ibrahim Raisi, the country's foreign minister and several other officials were found dead on Monday, hours after their helicopter crashed in a foggy, mountainous region of the country's northwest, state media reported. State TV gave no immediate cause for the crash that occurred in Iran's East Azerbaijan province. Condolences started pouring in from neighbors and allies after Iran confirmed there were no survivors from the crash. Pakistan announced a day of mourning and Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi said in a post on X that his country stands with Iran in this time of sorrow. Leaders of Egypt and Jordan also offered condolences, as did Syrian President Bashar Assad. Related coverage. Azerbaijan's President Ilham Aliyev said he and his government were deeply shocked. Raisi was returning on Sunday after traveling to Iran's border with Azerbaijan to inaugurate a dam with Aliyev when the crash happened. Under the Iranian constitution, Iran's vice first president takes over if the president dies, with Khamenei's assent, and a new presidential election would be called within 50 days. First Vice President Mohammad Mokba already had begun receiving calls from officials and foreign governments in Raisi's absence, state media reported. An emergency meeting of Iran's cabinet was held as state media made the announcement Monday morning. This post received a score of 14,000, with an upvote ratio of 97%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. AP. Edit. The view from a UAV of the scorch marks of the area where it crashed did not hint at a situation where there would be survivors. You can plug the coordinates from the public UAV footage into Google Maps to get an idea of what the surrounding terrain looks like. Reported that the helicopter was completely burned in the crash. Tweet from another user that shows the impact site being broadcast. Media reports from earlier today said that visibility was less than 5 meters, 16 feet, at the time. That implies that when the pilot noticed what was happening it was too late. The Google Maps site is now labeled as a tourist attraction. The first review says, great views but the helipad could be improved. Looks like someone also put the crash picture as a Google Street View type picture. And this. Opening square bracket. There are some daylight pictures and drone video of the crash site now. SFW. Complete airframe loss plus fire. Not a hard landing, most likely it was a controlled flight into terrain. Everybody on board would have been killed instantly. Isn't this event basically identical to how Kobe died? Helicopter in misty conditions flies into a hill. There's not a ton of ways to fly into a mountain. Inserts conspiracy theory to get rid of Iran's president with Foggy Mountain. Foggy Mountain Fatwas is my favorite band. And their number one smash hit. Hey, that's a mountain man. Massive. There was no one else other than Razi suited to carry the torch once Khamenei goes. He doesn't even trust his own son the way he trusted Razi. Help us game this out. Now what? Power vacuum. Does this push him to be more adversarial? Does this help their enemies? Nothing changes brother bear. The game of mullahs have begun a long time ago. This accident has all other candidates pop and champagne right now. You can see the list and people already out of the game. What are the differences between the president and the VP that will be replacing him? Is there going to be significant changes in any way? Apparently, it's in the charter that elections will be held in 50 days. Elections, aka whoever the supreme leader handpicks. I mean to the extent that any religious icon can endorse someone to give them a boost but secular moderates have been elected before. Considering the pushback happening with the youth and women, who knows? I'd have more faith in a reformist winning in a planned election though. The plan B also dying might make this more competitive. Yup. The man who predated Razi, Rouhani, was a moderate. Moderate enough to negotiate the Iran nuclear deal in good faith. Until the orange vessel of diarrhea came along. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.